snappy trout, remember them. They have supplied you generally everything you're going to need for your drain system. They get it done in a snap for $14.99, at least here where I shopped in California. Thanks for watching. I look forward to hear from you. And remember, when you've got a drain sink to, to set up, remember Snappy Trap. You get it done in a snap. And they cover all the possibilities that you might run into. And they're solved in one simple package. Snappy Trap. Remember easy two tips and tricks where you see everything up close and personal. Never give up because there's always a way. Always. Uh, do some drain work. Let's see. Oh, all of these parts. What to do, what to choose. How am I going to replace my drain? Look at that. What am I going to do? No worries. Snappy Trap is the solution. Let me show you. This is Snappy Trap. It goes up in a snap. So what you do is I'll show you here and then I will get into the details of this trap and the different parts that come with it and everything is really straightforward. So there's no further ado, let's do this. All right. Here's your sink drain pipe and it's going into this flex tube and it's sort of working, but it's really just barely connected. So let me show you how Snappy Trap is quick, easy, and user friendly. All right, let's adjust this to your lock nut here. All right, this should be hand tight, but sometimes they're not. Now this is adjusted. Okay, it should take just a little turn. All right. Okay, now it should be hand tight, hand loose, okay. Now you always want a little drain bucket because in the trap, this is this is your trap called a pea trap. Water's always in here so you don't get the smells coming from the septic or your sewer, all right? So there's water in here blocking it, so it's a trap. Okay, this should be hand loose and it is. There's the water, all right? Here's my bucket, all right? Anything will work. You just need something to catch the water. Okay, then I'm going to loosen the lock washer up here on top and dump it out. All right. Now you can just leave that in there. Okay. Now it makes this snappy trap so nice and you can put it in in a snap, literally. All right, it just spins out. Okay. Now, this is your washer. It also is, has an airlock and watertight. Okay, they come with your snappy trap and it's tapered, as you can see. All right, so the tapered side goes forward or the narrow side of the tapered goes forward. All right, now, the nice thing about the snappy trap, it will extend out and stretch forward if you need it to, okay? So, let's push it back, kind of where it was. All right, now, I am missing one little component. All right, Snappy comes with two different ways to adapt your drain, all right? There's this wall drain coupling, which comes with a hose clamp for the back side of two inch, which slips over. All right, so this slips over. Get it snug. Put on your hose clamp. All right, tighten up your hose clamp either with, I believe that's a 3 8 nut or a screwdriver. 
I mean screw eight wrench or a screwdriver, all right. And then the drain here, this would go inside. Hold on, you wanna put your other hose clamp on here first. Then you push your drain in here. All right, now you have it sealed. And then this goes to your drain pipe above. All right, now, but you don't always need to do that. In most cases, all you need is your lock nut, your lock nut here, all right, you take your seal and you push it up here. At the, you bring it to the edge, your seal, all right, then you push this in place, all right, and push that in to where it's good and snug, that's good and snug, then you screw on your locking nut, all right. Now what makes this nice, all right, and this is what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use that bushing, that adapter to the wall drain, all right. Now, I'm going to show you something here, so hold on. What makes this so nice is the flexible tube, all right. Now let's see where we're at. We're at here, but let, let's look at the drain down pipe coming from the sink. There it is. So it's setting back here, and the drain's here, all right? So it is a little ways from the actual drain pipe above, all right? So what, we're, what makes this nice is this is flexible. I can turn this and get this adjusted, and if I need to come up, this will flex and come up and connect right to where I need it, all right? As you see here, it, it will come up and connect right to that pipe. Okay, now let's do it. Okay, now let's put this on and show you how snappy this snappy trap is. Making sure the taper is facing going outward. All right. First we put this lock nut on there. All right, taper is going outward. Let's put it in. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out a little bit, stretch it out. All right, okay, we're going to put this in here, okay, get that in there nice and snug, screw it, turn it a bit, all right, just a little, until it snugs up, all right, make sure these threads are not cross-threading, get it nice and flat to the surface, and tighten it, okay, now, Just like before okay this has a rubber seal and a tapered o-ring right a tapered but you want to make sure you get your lock nut on first that's a common mistake you forget and then you put your taper outward all right get this on this is your seal okay this goes in here, and you want it back about a half inch or so, and uh, push it in there. I can push it in a little more if I like. Okay, and I think in this situation, I'm gonna push this as far back as I can. You don't want to push it into the where it turns, but right before the turn is fine. All right, at that tangent point here, right before the turn, that'll slide in there. All right. And then this will tighten up. There we go. Nice and snug. That's snug right there. Good and tight. But don't over tighten. All right. Now, we need the next seal for, for here to go up on the down drain pipe. All right. On the P-trap or your trap, this down drain extension here, okay? You want it, you want the seal to be right here where it's gonna bottom out at the very bottom here, all right, of this. So you just line it up, all right, where you know it's gonna sit right there where you want it, okay? And you push it down in there. Ah, this needs to go down a little bit more, okay? 
Get it down just a little bit. Now it's where it seats. Okay, now it's seated. Make sure this is nice and flat and level or square to it. You just tighten it down, snug it up. Now if you need to adjust it some, you can adjust it, you know, maybe halfway up and that would be fine. But in this case, we're going to keep it at the very bottom. All right, I can, you want to leave this snug, not tight, but not too loose, just snug where it'll move. All right, then see this will come up after I put, I'm going to put this in here. All right, so it's in place. Okay, and I may need a red one. The red ones are a little smaller. Let's see how this, how this adjusts. Yep, I'm going to need a red one. Okay. All right, what I like to do is I'll take a little petroleum jelly, a little Vaseline, and I'll just go to this outer, not the inside, only on the outside of this edge. All right. And I'll go around it. That just helps to preserve it and keeps it flexible and from keeps helps to prevent it from drying out. And so it will last longer for years to come. Hopefully, that's that's the plan. But don't get any Vaseline in on the back side. Make sure you wipe your hands off and don't touch the inside with the hand that has oil on it. All right, so you keep this perfectly dry on the inside, okay? Now, let's get this up here. Let's get this in place. All right, screwed on. may have to make a small adjustment here to this. All right. All right, now put the finishing touches here on this. Just when it's snug. There we got it. Now, let me show you, does it work? Okay. There's a top. Let me give you this overview. Okay, there you have it. One more look coming down from the drain, down pipe. The flex hose is doing its thing and it's all secure. There it is. Snappy trap, the most quick, convenient, easy way to install your drain system for under your sink. All right, now let me show you some few other features here because they don't miss anything. They've taken a very frustrating for some, complicated for some, just how what parts, where do they go, how do they work, and they simplify it. They've got this down to a science. They give you just the nuts and bolts of exactly what you need in several different scenarios. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Now Snappy Trap gives you very illustrated, simple, straightforward application of how to install and what parts you're going to need for whatever the application is you're needing. And these are illustrated they're very straightforward, and they haven't forgot or left out anything. Okay. Every possible situation that you could run into, they have given you a solution and a part for that. For example, on your drain, wall drain, going into your septic, going from your, to the wall, they've given you this. This goes to the wall, and this goes to your snappy trap, flex tube, or a straight pipe. All right, it doesn't have to be the flex tube, it can be a straight pipe, all right? And they provided you with the seals and the hose clamps, all right? For your rubber bushing, all right? For this transition. They've given you for a smaller opening. There it is. It's a step down. 
all right? They've provided you with every possible scenario and problem to solve whatever you come across in this package. Now, snappy trap gets it done in a snap. And if you run into a problem, they have the solutions right here in the package in most cases. So, snappy trap, remember them. They have supplied you with generally everything you're going to need for your drain system. They get it done in a snap for $14.99, at least here where I shopped in California. Thanks for watching. I look forward to hear from you. And remember, when you've got a drain sink to, to set up, remember Snappy Trap. You get it done in a snap. And they cover all the possibilities that you might run into. And they're solved in one simple package. Snappy Trap. Remember easy cute tips and tricks where you see everything up close and personal. Never give up because there's always a way. Always.